Hello guys, Ryan here, and welcome back to the the Red Power 2 sub-series of the tech tutorials. This time we're looking at three machines and a pipe. The ejector, relay, accelerator, stroke decelerator, it's the same thing really, and the mag tube. Right, let's start off with these two. We're going to be doing two at a time because they are practically the same machine, as you can see from the recipes, which only slightly vary. I mean, for this, you need wooden planks, cobble, a buffer, a transposer, and some redstone. Redstone on the bottom there. However, for this one, you need a red dope wafer at the bottom. But anyways, the function of this machine is to serve as a kind of link between Buildcraft and Red Power. Well, between all the mods, really. I mean, what this can do is, if I right click, you can see this interface. Basically, this act, this is a chest. It can hold items, and it will pump them out of the back. But anyways, you... Ugh. Right. So the only difference between these two is that this can transport out a stack at a time of the items. Anyways, I'll come back to that later when I can properly show off what it does. But basically, it's just a link between mods. Right, over here, this is a really cool thing. The accelerator, stroke decelerator, and a mag tube. Basically, you know how red power t pneumatic tubes are very slow? Well, this is lightning speed. This goes incredibly, incredibly fast, and all it needs is a bit of red power power. So, here's the recipe for an accelerator. It's just four blue alley and get some four obsidian. Very easy to make. Not quite cheap, but combined with other mods, yeah, I suppose it is. And here are mag tubes. You get eight, although you do have to use six, six copper wires. Six of them. Whilst you can just make one diamond draw player and mass produce them. Six, just, that seems annoying. They do stack, however, so that's good. Anyways, let's have a look at this in practice. Something I threw together today. Let's have a look. So we, here we have a quarry, Buildcraft. Uh, tons and tons of red power in the middle, and a nice industrial craft induction furnace up here. Right, basically this machine is going to pump everything it can out of this quarry into a furnace. I haven't filtered or anything yet. And if the furnace is... F if the... If the relay to the furnace is full, then it shall pump out into this system here. Right, anyways, let's activate the quarry with this one piece of pipe I have here. Boom, and there we go. It should be working, however it is not. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm going to break the quarry. Oh, well, I have already broken it, really. I'm just going to break it some more. Alright, there you go, you... Alright, anyways... As soon as that's going, it'll go through this, into this powered accelerator. Through all this magma tube here. Let's see if we can watch one. Right, look, there's normal pneumatic tube speed, right? Try try follow it. Even with some quantum armor on, which I can run, I cannot beat the speed of this thing. It's ridiculously fast. And I think I read somewhere that it'll go for 80 blocks until it stops. You can right click on this to change the direction. As you can see, nothing will happen if it's like this. Those will just rebound and so on. It needs to be facing this way so that it's joined up with the other one. So you can point it down and stuff. That also works. And as you can see, it made a pr pretty big backlog. Now it's filling up this ejector. Now if I pulse this, it will put out the items into this furnace here. Oh, I've got it facing the wrong direction. There we go, it works like a transpose as well as a chest. So where the little dot is, is where things will be outputted. Outputted, is that a word? I don't even know. That's where things will be output at least. So I'm just going to break this and have a look, see? That's the output. Right, anyways, so now since that is full, quote unquote, I'll show what's going to next. It's going to this ejector here. Now, I said it can link up, but it seems like... You have to have the red end facing the Billcraft pipes and then the redstone engine extracting it for stuff to come out. See? So it does kind of link them up. It's just a bit uh, weird. 
However, really, it's just... It works a lot better than one of these uh, ejectors, I have to say. Whilst they are meant to be the same, I've noticed these slight differences. But basically, it pulses itself. Whenever it gets an item, it'll pulse it. And it'll just send it through. Um, and also, it does not work exactly like this one does. So you can just have build graph go into the red side. And pneumatic at the back, and it's automatic. It's lovely. Right, anyways, let's have a look in this box. As you can see, Finn in 8 and Alice field right here. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I hope this video helped, because these are some pretty damn cool things that Red Power has, which is why it's my favourite mod. Anyways, like, favourite, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, guys. Thanks for watching.